Okay, so in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can set up the spec flow project using any unit testing framework in Visual Studio in Windows. So what you have to do is you have to go to file and then create a new project and then select .NET and unit. So just type in unit here and you will find all the templates related to any unit project. So just select uh, whatever language you want to create this project in. I'm going to select C Sharp and then click next. Give the project name and then click next. And in here, you have to select the target framework. Now you can target different types of framework depending upon what kind of or how you want to execute your project. So I will recommend that you use this uh, latest uh, framework because that is the latest and stable uh, version you can see. Uh, and uh, do not select the older version of the .NET framework. So all these are older versions of .NET. So I will recommend that you select the .NET 5.0 and later versions and then just click on create. After that what happens is new project is created automatically for you. And here there is one solution and there is one project and you can also add multiple projects as well. And by default this unit test one this .cs file is created for there are some sample tests and you can add your own tests over there or you can add uh, different namespaces different classes interfaces whatever you want inside of that project and uh, if you look here in dependencies mainly there are two things frameworks and packages so framework uh, this thing comes from whatever we selected in the last step while creating the project so we selected the dotnet 5 version based upon that this framework is downloaded and ready for uh, this project so basically it contains all the latest libraries core libraries of dotnet that you can use in your project so this is about frameworks and uh, here is the packages so packages is basically third party libraries that you want to use in your project so this is not part of the core uh, library of dotnet and depending upon your project you want to use it for example if you want to work on any unit testing uh, project you will need to use these particular dependencies or uh, packages microsoft.net.test.stk you know, if you want to run the tests execute the test then any unit any unit is a testing framework and any unit 3 test adapter is used for running the test through visual studio so these packages are automatically downloaded for you once you create the project so you don't need to do anything and if you want to see the .cs project file for this project, just click on the project name and on the left hand side you will see this .cs project file. Here it will show you the target framework that we selected in the first step and then there is a packages that we are referencing. So out of that, uh, these packages are not required. Coverlet.collector, so this is used for the code coverage thing. which. Uh, generally we are we don't use so i'm just gonna delete that and after i delete that you can see that in the packages section that uh, particular package is removed now uh, if you want to set up for the spec flow project so this is about the n unit but if you want to run the uh, like create the BDD feature file scenarios, then you will need the spec flow packages as well. Now to install that packages, uh, you will need to specify these uh, package names and the versions. But before that, let me explain you the extension that you will need as well. So you want to go to the extension and then click on manage extensions, and there you have to search for the spec flow here. Spec flow and then it will show the spec flow extensions that are available and uh, you will find these extensions out of that you have to install the spec flow for visual studio 2019 so this extension is useful because uh, if you write the feature files it will uh, highlight like the syntax and everything will be shown and you can also go to the step definition of that particular steps as well in the scenario so that's why this extension is required and in terms of packages you will need these uh, three packages Uh, these three packages are required if you want to work with spec flow first one is spec flow that is the core package that you will need 
then specflow.n unit so this package is required because we are working with n unit testing framework if you are working with another testing framework then you might need to install different kind of testing uh, package so currently we are using n unit as you can see here and that's why we need to install the specflow.n unit package and lastly we need the specflow.tools.ms build generation package so this is required uh, to create the code behind files for our future files so this is also important and uh, once that is done you can see on the right hand side these packages are showing up in here in the packages section so that's it our project is ready and uh, now you can create the future files scenarios and then create the step definitions and then execute the test as well thanks for watching this video